Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name's Lumen and today, Catizens. This is something that I've not done before. Customizing cats. Yeah, it's gonna be fantastic. I'm super excited. This is a colony management and simulation game where you try and watch over a bunch of unique and quirky cats. Yeah, it's 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 as crazy and chaotic as it sounds. It's inspired by RimWorld and The Sims. So in this video, I'm for the most part just going to be covering the visual appearance that you set up for your cat. I'm not going to go too in-depth with things like the stats and the traits and the talent trees and stuff like that. Rest assured, it's all there. It's kind of crazy. So the way it works is you have specialized catizens and then you have regular what you could call villagers, right? They have no specialization. They have traits, but no specialization. This one right here, architect. This one, knight. I think a little bit later, in like the second or third mission, when you're playing in the campaign, you pick up a farmer. And then it keeps going like that. You keep getting specialized catizens that do different things, better than the regular villagers do. And it's kind of cool, because, you know, by the end of it, you have this massive collection of, of uh, different characters with different personalities and different talent trees. So it's important to know that you will get different unique cats as you progress that will have different visual styles as well. As you can see, the architect has this cute little architect hat on, the knight, well, sword and shield and a helmet. So keep that in mind. Now, the way we're going to do the video is we're going to just have a look at all the cosmetic options here. Then we will check the stats out briefly and the traits briefly. And then I'll talk a little bit about the other stuff that I've seen in the game because I've played it a little bit. But that's going to be the way we're going to do it. There will be stuff in the game that might be a little bit different from this. And we're also going to randomize at the end. So just keep that all in mind. If you want to see all of this stuff, you're going to have to play the game for yourself. So with that said, let's start customizing Tomath here. These are the default names, Tomath and Leandra. Uh, you can change them obviously, to whatever you like, uh, and that's the randomize button right there. Now, I I'm not a massive cat person. I love cats, okay? I love all animals. It's just need needless to say, they're fantastic. Uh, but but I don't know how, how like, uh, close to, to realistic this is going to be, he says, while customizing a cartoon cat, okay? I don't know. I'm not going to recognize the different uh, skin patterns and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just here to, to have fun, okay? So, different ears, let's see. It's, it's a little obscured by the by the hat, unfortunately, but the hat is super cute. So, I mean, I feel like that's sort of a, a win at the end of the day. Normal ears, big, curled, floppy, and alert. Okay. And then eye shape. This is the special eye shape for the architect. I'm actually not sure if we can get the architect eye shape on the... Yeah, we can, on the knight. So, the cu customization of both of them is the same. That's why we're only doing the one on the left here. And then we'll randomize them both at the end, like I said. Uh, big eyes, and you get to change the color over here, we'll do that in a moment. Catty, cute, full pupil, goofy, yeah. Hey, it's a fantastic style, I really like what they did. Happy, innocent, oh, that's too cute. Wow, lined, mean. I should make the knight with mean eyes. I mean, the knight's eyes are already a little bit mean. Mean too. Narrow. Dashing. Pretty. I mean, they're all pretty. Smiley. Staring. Tiny dots. Oh, man. I don't know. For some reason, these little pig eyes, they just work for me. Wide. Wide large. Wide narrow. And night. That means we're back on architect. Okay. Let's check the eye colors out. We've got light brown, dark brown, blue. Lots of real estate here to actually see the color. And let me just say, when you're in the game, these changes... And these customization options, they definitely matter. You get to zoom in all the way. Uh, fantastic, beautiful game. Uh, it's so cute when all your cats are, are chilling around the campfire. You can take some really nice screenshots. Let me just say, I've, I've done it. I've done it. Uh, we've got yellow, yellow green, gold, red, light brown, dark brown, blue, green, yellow, yellow green, gold, red, light brown, dark brown. I'm going to pretend... Uh, I'm a goldfish and just keep going around in circles. Base coat. Here we go. I don't see much changing when I do this. Hmm. I think I need to change the pattern first. Or how does this work? Ah, there we go. 
it's it's changing at the feet down at the bottom ah okay so base well, let's do base color first beige light gray that is so cute mid gray white black i mean okay I, I, you know i understand that you can't really go full black or super dark with this art style especially considering the lines are already black it might contrast it might it might blend in a little bit the contrast might not be enough uh, but that's it's not really but maybe it's because of the ah okay so this this matters it's light and dark the base coat okay so i get it i get it i get it it's basically just you can see here it's like a little bit on the tummy and a little bit around the around the face and stuff like that you just pick any of whether you want it light and dark i'm gonna go dark because it gives us a bit of color dark gray light brown brown orange red uh yeah okay gold cream beige brown and beige we're back at the start let's take white then let's look at the patterns spotted striped cute Oh, the tail patch and the ear. Dude, the ears are also... Oh, that's so nice. There's the knight's one. Bengal. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, as you can see on the next option, we do get to change the pattern color. So, calico. Patches. Very nice. Siamese. Do they all have the same pattern, Siamese cats? Or is it always just is it a similar pattern? I guess it is. Dark Siamese. And we're back on Spotted. I like Bengal a lot. And I like Spotted a lot. I think it's super cute. Now, the pattern colors. We have yellow, orange, orange, brown, dark brown, gray, dark gray, black. Ah, oh, that is... Oh, <laughs> I love it. Red. Blood red. Ooh. That's actually a really nice color. Dark pink. Ooh, mute purple. Royal blue, man, light blue, teal, mud yellow, yellow orange, regular orange, and we're back at brown. Dude, royal blue, heck yes, that is really nice. Yeah, I'd make a blue cat, a blue spotty cat. Then, you get to change the mouth. That's the, the architect one, mouth one, mouth two. Mouth oh, three. They're not going to have names. Kind of cute. Oh, that one's got a heart. And another one. I like the little triangles. I think it's very well done. And then we're on the night. And then we're probably back. Yeah, back on the architect. Okay, so that's pretty sick. I like it. Uh, as I mentioned, this side is going to be the same. Uh, however, I mean, uh, just looking at the, at the architect here, I'm seeing that there's blush on the cheeks and i'm wondering if that just means if that comes with the mouth that comes with the mouth okay yeah okay so it's it's like these are the same basically you just sort of you just sort of choosing what you want i mean i don't know let's randomize a few times how did i have it so black there how did they get that like really really there like that Hmm. I, I'd love to know how this happened. Oh, I see. Okay. It's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the black here is much darker than the black on the belly. Gotcha. Okay. So it's the same. It's the same. If we pick the same, like, options here, you know, and, and we uh, take black, you're going to have the same cat. In essence, you just have to change the eyes and the face and everything to match the same. Cool, cool. Okay, so let's randomize a bunch and let's have a look. Oh, look at that. What the heck? Oh, some of these are just too cute. I, I mean, I really like the style that we've got on the night right here. Part of me feels like I need to, like, pay my respects by actually using the skins that they give me and letting the night look like they want the night to look. But then another... Far larger part of me thinks, wow, you can just do so much really cool stuff. Why wouldn't you? That's that's cool. I don't know, for some reason I like the blue one. Little cloud cat or something. It's blue as the sky, dude. Oh, that. That's a good look for a knight. There you go. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with that one. 
Cool. Okay. Very nice. So there you go. That's a, a quick look at how you can customize your cats. Next up, we're going to go to the stats quickly and then the traits. Now, the stats, you get one stat point every time you level up, I think. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure every time you level, you get to spend the stat point where you want. And you get to redistribute these wherever you want them as well. Like, you can put them wherever uh, you see fit. Stamina. Each point adds 10 to max health. Strength. Uh, increases damage dealt uh, by physical attacks by one. It also increases the number of items the character can carry. Uh, pretty important for, for most of your catizens because there's a lot of carrying to be done. Much like in something like RimWorld. Uh, intellect that increases experience gain. And luck increases the dodge chance of melee attacks and critical hit with attacks. So you got to sort of... You know spread it out the way you want it for your characters like the architect for instance doesn't need much stamina might need a bit of stamina but doesn't need much because it's not going to be fighting all that much uh, whereas the the knight will definitely be fighting so for the architect you could instead put the points in intellect uh, whereas you know on the knight you'd want some more strength and stamina uh, and yeah that's that's basically how you'll handle it traits these are kind of cool uh you you have lots of different uh, traits in the game as well that aren't here, uh, as far as I understand. Uh, but what will happen is whenever a new villager comes along to your camp or to your village, they will have a random combination of two good ones and one negative. The negative ones aren't usually a big deal, uh, but they're there. They're there. Uh, there's a bunch, like you're going to see here. This, this might not even be all of them, but we're going to have a quick look. Uh, I'm not going to read every single one of them. This is, again, something that uh, maybe I can. I mean, I don't know. I was going to say it's something that you can sort of look into when you uh, when you play the game. But let's just get started, and we'll see how it goes. Loyal. Even if the going gets rough, this catizen will stick it out with the town. Will not consider deserting the town, even when the mood is low. Now, both of these have loyal, uh, and I, I think the class cats that you get later all come with loyal but the regular catizens the regular villagers do not okay so it's like it's something that you got to keep in mind now i'm going to see quickly if friendly yeah friendly is down there so we'll start at the top animal lovers love by all animals enjoys their company will not be attacked by wild animals but will be unhappy if they're forced to hurt any animal can't have that on for instance a hunter or maybe on the night because that'll ruin it uh but You'll see it always mostly has a positive and a negative. Brutish, more physically fit than normal. Extra health and strength, but not the most careful around. Takes extra damage when in combat. Bushcat, likes to sleep in beds on lower floors. Gets a mood boost for the right height of bed, but gets a mood hit if they sleep in places too high up. Catnip lover, can continuously enjoy mood bonus of eating catnip without consequences. This unlocks decoration catnip field. Charmin. Socials always succeed with others, regardless of relationship level. Can convince even the grumpiest sourpuss to play. Also gains a bonus to luck. Clumsy will sometimes trip over themselves when walking. As an example, this one is not going to give you anything positive at all. Destructive likes to scratch things. Tendency to ruin objects sometimes. This unlocks decoration scratching post. Uh, so sometimes you want these. And sometimes when a villager asks to join... And they have, as an example, destructive. You can get that scratching post for your cats to use by just accepting him. Domestic. Enjoys the domesticated life. Must have cooked food and a nice bed to sleep in. Gets a mood hit if forced to sleep outside or eat raw food. Uh, once again, blue nightstand. Some customization stuff that you unlock with that. Feral. Prefers eating raw and sleeping outside. Gets a mood buff for raw food. Uh, yeah, and sleeping in the great outdoors. It gives you the campfire. Fluffy. Has more fur than usual. Mm, will be comfortable sitting and sleeping on any surface. Gets soaked from water easily and always gets fur balls when grooming. Friendly is a good listener and will always have nice chats with others. Will never start fights with other cats regardless of mood. Makes friends more easily. Genius. More intellect than average, but will be unhappy if left to work as a villager or if surrounded by catizens of lower than average intellect. Oh, goodness. Okay. Glutton. Eats more than average, but will never get bored of any food. Gets a bigger mood hit from being hungry, but is very happy to eat a good meal. Okay, that gives you the food basket. A lot of these unlock a lot of stuff. Like this, for instance, green paw. Has a way with plants. Tends to farm fields faster. Heartleaf plant and grassy plant unlocked. But if it's a decoration, it's mostly just for decoration. Hunter. Loves the thrill of hunting and can stalk enemies to get 
the pounce on them. Gets a mood boost from defeating enemies in combat. That's a that's a good one for the knight, I think. Won't want to work if mood is lower than neutral. Loner doesn't like to autonomously socialize with other cats. Gets a mood hit if in crowded areas, but gets a mood boost if they're all by themselves. Mean. Likely to insult others when socializing, can fight all the time, and has a difficult time making friends. In a pinch, can be used to tell unruly catizens to leave town. Miserly gets a mood hit if the town doesn't have as much gold as it has catizens. Will randomly find pieces of gold while working. <laughs> Natural chef, just cooks food faster. Neurotic sleeps less, but freaks out occasionally. Okay, I understand that. Nocturnal. Awake at night, prefers to sleep during the day. That gives you the lamp post. That's kind of nice. Obedient. Will tough it out and finish a job, even when in an awful mood. That's nice. Optimistic. Always looks on the bright side and is in a better mood than others. That gives you the sunflower plant. That's so cool. I love how they tie the decorations to the different traits you can get here. Pacifist. Hates engaging in violence. Whenever, or whether it's combat or enemies uh, or getting into fights with other catizens, will be happy if living a peaceful life. Pessimistic. Sees the glass half empty. Will slowly become even more unhappy if their mood goes below content playful higher mood boost from playing with other cats or toys wants to play more than other cats you get the mouse toy for that shallow only wants to live in popular towns mood hit if town isn't above level three popularity wow really sleepy always ready for the next nap yeah i i can sort of understand this one too we'll get a mood hit if they don't get their beauty sleep is happiest after getting fully rested socialite loves to talk with other cats gets lonely if they don't get to interact with others this gives you the wooden low table sourpuss doesn't enjoy themselves and hates fun wow will not want to play and playing will not increase their mood thick-headed has a thick head increase in armor but decrease in intellect also good for the night tree cat likes to sleep in beds on upper floors gets a mood boost for the right height of bed but gets a mood hit if they have to sleep on the ground. That gives you the pine tree sapling. And then finally, water lover. Actually likes water. Doesn't take a mood hit when wet. Very good, by the way. Cats, in this game, they get super grumpy if they get rained on. It's understandable, right? That's just the cat way. And then finally, as the last thing you can do here, you get to save your creation. So if you want to save this specific Tomath, or you can call him anything you want... Uh, then you get to save it so you can load it for a future sandbox game or a future campaign or anything like that. But that, my friends, is all I have for you today. I'm going to say that I've played a little bit of this game and it seems pretty damn charming. Uh, it's kind of cool that they managed to make it actually feel like you're herding cats when you play in this game. Uh, they are unruly, they are chaotic, but they are beautiful and they are lovable. And, you know, sometimes when the stars align, they actually do what you ask of them. <laughs> So yeah, uh, definitely cool, definitely fun. Haven't spent a huge amount of time with it. It's still in early access. Uh, so if you guys have played this, I would love to hear from you what your thoughts are. I would love to hear if you if you had fun with it. And I'd love to hear if you were able to make the perfect Katazan for yourself. Uh, because there are a lot of cool options here. And uh, yeah, I, I know a lot of people on the internet are cat people. And maybe they want to come in here and make their own cat. Give them, give them the, the, the right name, give them the right pattern and everything else. That could be kind of fun. So, give this video a like and share it and do all that other good stuff. Let me know if you enjoyed Catizens, if you picked it up and played it yourself. Uh, it's one of those games, you know. It's one of those games. And you get to pet the cat in this, by the way. You get to, you get to pet the cat. Uh, you do. You get to play with the cats, pet them. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. So, let me know if you guys have been enjoying it. Again. Give it a like and share it. It means a lot to me. Uh, it's a big deal when you guys do that. And uh, leave those comments. Thank you. Happy that.